Hey guys, what's going on? DuffKing56 here, back to continue my Let's Play of Yakuza 3 Remastered. Welcome, welcome back. We are in Kamurocho, but not for long. As I said yesterday, you know, we were exploring a lot of Kamurocho lately, but there's some things that we can go back home to Okinawa to take care of, some story wise and, and others. So, I want to start by heading back to Okinawa. I don't know if I can do that. Wait. East Street. Is there a way to go back? I feel like... Wait. Shouldn't the taxi take us back to where we're supposed to go? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. I had plans. I had plans. I wonder if the story's gonna take us back then. Really? There's, like, no way to go... Oh my lordy lord. Well, okay. Let's do some classic Let's Play improv where, well, you know, the plans didn't work out exactly how we wanted. <laughs> So, I had some ambitions today, and those hopefully won't fall short, but hey, we're getting yelled at. Hey, man, excuse me. Huh? You talking to me? Sorry to bother you, but are you Kazuma Kiryu? Yeah, that's me. And you are? I knew it! I'm a student at the Komaki Dojo. Komaki Dojo? Oh, you mean old man Komaki? Haven't seen him in forever. He started his own dojo, huh? Sounds like he's doing pretty well. Yes, sir, he is. I actually have a letter for you from him. He told me to give it to you if I ever spotted you in the city. Well, we got ourselves a letter from Komaki. A letter from Komaki? I wonder what he wants. How are you doing, my prized pupil? When I heard you'd return to Kamurocho, I knew I must pen a letter to you at once. I am currently running a dojo at the Dragon Palace. I believe you're quite familiar with the location. I understand that while I was away on a short trip, you fought off some hooligans that were making trouble at the Dragon Palace. Wanted to extend my thanks to you for that. From the rumors I've heard, your life of peace and tranquility has not dulled your fighting edge. Knowing you, however, I suspect that way of life may not last much longer. If you ever feel the need to train again, please stop by my dojo at the Dragon Palace. I'd be happy to help you get back into shape. However, there is one matter that may require your help. I'll tell you more when we meet in person. Sotaro Komaki, Komaki Dojo. Ha. Huh. I swear that old man never changes. It has been a while since we last saw one another. Maybe I should go and pay old man Komaki a visit. Hey, is the old man back at the dojo now? Yes, Master Komaki has returned. Please take the elevator to the dojo floor. I'll go on ahead and let him know you're here. That's very presumptive of you that you would just go there and assume I'd be going. But anyways, the dojo at Dragon Palace, huh? I should stop by when I have a minute. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh my, what is going on? We got another phone call here. It's Kiryu. Hey, it's Yanai, the freelance photographer, remember? I'll be honest, uh... Oh, yeah, this guy. Yanai, oh, yeah, from the Harada case. The papers love the shots. They're gonna be in next week's edition. They printed off a few proofs, so I sent one to that bar for you. Shellock, I mean. Might be worth reading if you've got time. See you! Well, that would be kind of nice, I guess, uh... An article about the Haradas, huh? Guess I should head over to Shellock sooner or later. Well, it looks like the path for today's episode, and, and maybe more episodes beyond that, has been carved out for us, or at least there's being carved out for us. I guess since we're here, let's go and tackle at least one of the issues here. Uh, one being an assassin. <laughs> and then the teacher said she liked it. She said it looked really good. Wow, that's great. That's my guy. And you know what else? Well, that looks like the hitman Hatsutani. He seems pretty close to that kid. Let's find out. Sorry to interrupt. Are you Hazutani? Uh. Yeah, that's me. You have a minute? I need to talk with this man here, so why don't you head on home for today? No, I want to hang out with you. We'll see each other again tomorrow. Come on now, off you go. Another father figure, hey? What did you want to talk to me about? You're one of the Reaper hitmen, aren't you? Hazutani? Oh, Old Rags Hazutani. The fact you know that nickname isn't a good sign, is it? The Honest Living Association sent me to come find you. The HLA? I see. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I can't afford to get caught. I won't go on without a fight. There's no need to fight over this. We're just gathering information on the Reapers, and we want your help. Look, even I have my principles. Don't think I'd stoop that low. If you want me to go with you, you'll have to make me. Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, you know, we were gonna fight no matter what here. 
let's see what we can do about taking him down in a, a decent amount of time. He has quite a bit of health. Interesting. He's quick stepping forward. I, I kind of like the fact that he's doing that. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Come on. You're taking my jabs. Okay. So it's going to be like that, huh? Okay. Well, you know what? There we go. Oh. His quick stepping is really good. These fights are going to get harder, I feel. Wait, that hit me? Come on, we'll just stick and move, I guess. Ooh. This guy's fighting style is sick. He isn't doing much damage, but... We're definitely gonna need some fighting tech eventually, I feel like. There is, of course, the Tiger Drop, which I know you unlock early in this game, because I remember. And the fact that we can go to Komaki means we can probably get it pretty soon, I'd imagine. Okay. I don't like that he's quick-stepping like this. He's... he's very annoying. <laughs> Can we grab him? Okay, I guess grabbing him will work for now. Can we pick him up? Ooh, we'll get free hits maybe? Nope. Okay, well, eventually I'm gonna have to use a heat action here, so let's start earlier rather than later. I'm still a bit kind of messed up in the head because we didn't get to go back to home. All right, here we go. Well, that didn't work. We ruined our gas stove! That's so sad. And we probably- we lost our heat as well. I don't want to just jab this guy forever. He loses like no health at all. Okay, we're just gonna have to go with grabs forever, I suppose. The throws don't really do too much damage, and it's funny because there is an upgrade to have the throws do more damage that we have not got yet. The fact that I can only get one hit on him is a travesty for myself, at least. Look, look how much damage we're doing! No damage! And I know that he primes himself to do that, and it's like an auto hit, but like, what am I supposed to do? I guess we could try hitting him. I guess I can try hitting him with things on the ground, but like, if he's not even going to give us a chance to do that, which is absolutely ridiculous. He covers so much ground. There we go. I'll trade with him if it means getting some damage in, but like, once again... There we go. My lord in heaven. That's that's how long it took for me to get a decent swing in. How annoying. Okay. Jesus, man. I, I This is probably my fault for not trying more things in a fight and such, but it does not feel good at all fighting this guy. But it's fine. We'll try to get a counter eventually and uh, we'll go from there, honestly, because once again, I just don't really know exactly what I should be doing here and, and how I should be doing it, but that's fine. It's, um, it's always an exercise and how good are my quick steps and how good are, is my timing. There we go. It's a good, good damage there. Just try to maybe overpower him there, which it worked there, but I don't actually know if it was much of a benefit to us. But either way, let's find out more about this story, this guy's story. Damn, you're good. Ready to go now? Stop! Leave him alone! Huh? I said leave him alone! <laughs> Thanks, but I'm okay. See? Really? Really. You don't have to worry. Run along home now, okay? Well, I suppose he can do that. 
He's clearly not okay. We just beat him up pretty good. Who's that kid? We just ran into each other one day. I'm not sure who he is or where he's from. I have kids myself, you know. A boy and a girl. I bet they're just about his size. What do you mean, you bet? Aren't they your kids? In my line of work, I can't be with them, no matter how much I want to be. A friend's taking care of them now. You sound bitter about that. I used to be in the Yakuza, but my boss blamed me for a mistake he made, and I got kicked out of the family. Back then, there wasn't anything like the HLA. I had a hard time trying to find a job, and my wife died from overworking herself. I'm sorry to hear that. I needed money to feed my kids. This was the only kind of work I could find. I want to make sure I can send more money to them, so I don't spend money on myself for clothes or weapons. Hence the name Old Rags Hazutani. A part of the reason I joined the Reapers was because I was angry about getting blamed for something I didn't do, but mostly it was because the Reapers took care of me financially. I'm betting your kids don't know you're in this line of work. There's no way I could tell them, but I need the money. If I have to get blood on my hands to feed my children, then so be it. That's what you say, but what if you get caught? What? If you keep this up and get arrested, what's going to happen to your kids? And how would you be able to keep them from finding out? You're right, but... It's not too late. You can try to find an honest job again. The HLA and Ibuki can definitely help you out now. Nothing's ever that easy. Things have changed since you were kicked out of your family. Don't you think it's worth another try? I think you're right. I'll give it another shot. You've opened my eyes. Thank you. Well, dude, Kiryu is the one to do it, if anybody. Great work, Kiryu-san. I'll take it from here. Ibuki-san's waiting for you at headquarters. I'll accompany you there. Well, that's three guys converted to the HLA. Good work. I'm glad you're okay. The HLA will provide Hazutani's children with financial assistance. We'd like to help him find some decent work and get him back to living with his children as soon as possible. Kiryu-san, well done. Here is your reward. We appreciate your hard work. 80k, man. I'll take it. Look at that. We're a millionaire. Please come back again. We're really counting on you. Let's take the next mission. And we'll just kind of tackle these as we go. I'm going to... Let's see, Mr. and Mrs. Odagiri or Hawkeye Shoe. That one sounds kind of cool. Works as a duo. Rumored to, rumor to be armed with guns. Well, eh, maybe we'll hold back here. This guy's armed with guns too. Hiding where all of Kamurocho is in his sights. I'm assuming that's in Millennium Tower. Honestly, let's let's do this one because it's kind of out of the way. And uh, we won't be tempted to do it unless we're ready to do it. Anyways, thank you, Kiryu-san. We'll do everything in our power to assist you. Good luck. So... We've helped some dude get some financial assistance. We helped that guy get a job. We're doing pretty well here. I kind of wish I could see people that I beat in the dorms here, but that's fine. We can head out and we have stories to do and lots of things to do in the city still. I had some aspirations, like I was saying before, to really sit down and lose myself in some more of this game today. So. I expect to get a lot done, whether it be story or sub-story. Oh, whoops. I want to see what's on the map here. So there's plenty of things to do near the Millennium Tower. Well, just past the Millennium Tower. So let's actually head up that way. I think if we can conquer the two sub-stories up north here, we will have a good chance at feeling like we are pretty accomplished enough to go to do some story. But I also really want to do some Komaki stuff. So I really would not mind going there. Just see who's saying hello there. Because sometimes, like, random stuff is happening and you need to pay attention to that stuff. But anyways, yes. We'll go up north here. We'll take care of some stuff. And then uh, we'll see where we go from there. But yeah, I definitely want to learn as many skills as I can from the teachers. And from there, we will, uh, you know, become better at combat. But speaking of combat, we gotta fight this guy. Because, you know... That's just how things go, right? So, let's fight Yakuza. We're going to fight the Yakuza, Mr. Izuka. Actually, he won't get on the ground. Actually, we've knocked him out. We feared this guy. Damn it. He's feared. Well, he was feared. We still can't do the heat move that we wanted to do on... That we've unlocked, but... I'll keep trying to farm it as best as I can. <laughs> Jeez, that guy's sunglasses. Gah! Guess you were looking for a fight. Here, it's all I got. An agreeable 5,000 yen. You know what? I'll take it once again. It's not the best thing in the world, but but I'll take it. 
Hey, baby. You lost? Want me to give you directions? No, I'm fine. Aw, oh, come on, sweetheart. I know. Why don't I take you somewhere real nice? Please stop. Someone help! This man won't leave me alone! Huh? What do you want, Grandpa? Got something to say? I'm just trying to help her out is all. Leave her alone before I make you. What? Damn it. My luck with the ladies is shit today. Get the fuck out of here, boy. Thank you very much. Don't worry about it. I really am lost. I have no idea where I am right now. Where do you need to go? A bar named Shellock. I'm meeting up with someone there. Well, since I'm here, I might as well help you get there. Oh, thank you. Alright, well, honestly, I don't mind taking her there. Oh, perfect. Oh, did we get a warp to the Shellock? Here we are. Shellock. Thank you so much for doing this. Um, if you have time, I'd love to thank you with a drink. It's really no problem. No, I insist. I've got some time before the meetup, so let me buy you a drink. Please? Uh, sure, why not? I have a feeling this could be a scam. You never know, though. <laughs> really? Thank you. Let's go inside, then. I wish we went to the Okama bar. <laughs> Thank you so much for your help. This is my first time here in Kamarocha, so I have no idea where everything is. I'm lucky you were there to show me where to go. You know, I don't think I ever got your name. It's Kiryu. Nice to meet you, Kiryu-san. I'm Tomoko. I go to college not too far from Kamarocho. A college girl, huh? Good for you. What sort of work do you do, Kiryu-san? I run an orphanage in Okinawa. Whoa, an orphanage? That's so sweet. So you get to hang out with the kids all day, keep them company? That's not really how it works. They need a parent to take care of them, whether it's helping with schoolwork or making them dinner. Oh, I see. Sorry, I'm not very smart. It's alright. I mean, Kiryu's not too smart either, but not many people know what kind of work goes into running an orphanage. Still, that's incredible, Kiryu-san. I have so much respect for people who devote themselves to volunteering. You know, you might look scary, Kiryu-san, but you're a real sweetheart deep down. I'm pretty into guys like that. So, where's this guy you're waiting for? Is he still not here? I guess not, but I'm having a good time talking with you, Kiryu-san. I'll be okay. Right. He's not looking too... Like, he's looking real sketchy. Tomoko! Oh, Fumiyoshi-kun. There you are. What the hell are you doing here in Kamurocho? I told you not to come here. How dumb are you? What? But, Fumiyoshi-kun, you never came home, so I thought... Like, that's any of your business, you stupid bitch. Why are you always so mean to me? Didn't you read my text? I told you I didn't want to see you right now. You never replied, so I had to come all the way out here to find your dumbass. Do you ever look at your phone, or are you too stupid to use it? Huh? Wait, what text? Oh, I think I forgot my cell phone in the hotel room. I'm sorry, I totally didn't notice. Wow, what a surprise, you fucking moron. Now you've wasted my time, too. Is that any way to speak to her? Huh? Who the hell are you? I got lost on the way here, but he stopped to help and walked me here himself. Then you got all friendly and started drinking together? I see what's going on here. Why don't you hook up with this old fart, then? <laughs> That's not what I meant. Wait, wait, Fumiyoshi-kun! I'm out. I don't want to see your face around here again. Jesus, what a piece of shit. <laughs> Fumiyoshi-kun. That the guy you were waiting for? Yeah, he's my boyfriend. A year ago, he left our countryside town for Kamarocho, but never came back. When I texted him, can I come see you, he would always say, hell no. Finally, I decided to follow him out here and try to meet up with him, but it looks like he's really upset that I did. I don't know what to do. Well, if you need my help, I'll do what I can. Really? Oh, but I need to go get my cell phone. I ran away from home, so I'm staying at a hotel for the moment. You sure you won't get lost on the way back to your hotel? <laughs> Still worried about me, huh? Would you mind walking me back to my hotel then? Uh, sure, no problem. Sadly, we probably lose our warp to Shellock. Thank you so much. Let's talk more about this at the hotel. Jesus, man, what is going on here? This the right hotel? Yes, thank you. Oh, I'm going to buy a few drinks at the convenience store. Could you go up to my room and wait for me? It's the suite on the top floor. Wait, how am I supposed to get in there without a key? My friend Aoi came from Kamarocha with me, so she should be up in the room already. Just tell her you know me. I'm sure it'll be fine. Remember, it's the suite on the top floor. Got it.
ここに来るように言われたんだがあんたが葵さんかSo, what's your name? Kazuma Kiryu. Kiryu-san, you're so dreamy. Why'd you get into this kind of work, Kiryu-san? Wait, you know what I do for work? Yeah, Tomoko told me all about you. I did tell Tomoko about it at the bar, but still, how? So, what led you to this line of work? Well, the man who raised me did the exact same thing. I wanted to follow in his footsteps. That's why I started down this path, to help those who didn't have anyone else in their lives. Oh god, this is going to be weird. Hmm, I see. You know, I've been feeling pretty lonely lately. You're alone too, huh? Yeah. Huh? Well, if you need my help, I'll do what I can. <laughs> I hope you'll help me a lot tonight. So, how long have you been in this line of work, Kiryu-san? About two years. And how many girls have you helped? Girls specifically? There's Ayako and Riona, Ari and Izumi, and of course Haruka, so that makes... Five girls. Not too many, then. Well, they're still just kids, so it's pretty tough making sure they all get the attention they need. Wait, you take kids, too? Of course. And not just girls. Boys, too. Wow, really? That must be quite rough on you. <laughs> Jesus. Anyway, this room looks pretty expensive, don't you think? <laughs> I figured, hey, it's a special occasion, so why not splurge? Right. Well, I suppose this is your first time here. That makes sense. To be honest, I was kind of nervous about this at first, but I'm glad I worked up the courage to ask for her help. I never imagined someone as dreamy as you would come walking through that hotel room door, Kiryu-san. Speaking of Tomoko, she sure is taking a while. What do you mean? We're just getting started. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, come on, Kiryu-san. ねえ、キリュさん。私も頑張んできない。ねえ。プロの技早く教えて。彼氏は下手くそなの。おい。一体何の真似だ。え?だって、ちゃんとお金払ってるんだからいいじゃない。私を楽しませてよ。ねえ。何？金を払ってるだと。そうよ。タマコってここにも払ってあるわ。出張ホスト代は。出張ホスト。そうよ。だからキリュさん、ここに来たんでしょ？違う。俺はそんなんじゃない
All right, you. Start talking. What's going on here? It wasn't my idea. Someone put me up to this. They told me to show up here, and I'd stumble into a couple getting it on. Then I'd barge in, pretend to be her husband, and threaten the guy for money. Who told you to do this? Some guy named Fumiyoshi. Fumiyoshi? You sure that was his name? I'm sure. He always hangs out at this bar named Shellock. Go ask him yourself. Come to think of it, Tomoko's boyfriend was named Fumiyoshi. Those two have got to be up to something. I should head over to Shellock and get them to spill the beans. Oh, jeez. Hey, hold on! You're not going to leave me hanging here, are you? Give me back my money, you swindler. Some escort you are. What money? I didn't give you any money. Man, that was easy. Here I was, wondering if anyone would really stop to help some girl being harassed by a guy on the street, but we nabbed one pretty fast. You moron. It was only easy because I made a great shitty boyfriend. My performance was legendary. Everything went according to plan. And not only are we gathering money, f or getting money from that chick who ordered an escort, we're gonna get even more money by blackmailing that guy. You really do think of everything. <laughs> That's what happens when you got a good head on your shoulders. I bet that right now, that shady guy's making bank off that old fart. The dumbass honestly believed that I ran away from home to see my boyfriend, then followed me all the way to that hotel. What a schmuck. It's obvious he was cruising for something else. <laughs> well, he should be having fun with the hottie right about now. He can't be too pissed off about that. Bet he doesn't expect to be scared shitless. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, yeah, real funny, guys, real funny. You might want to keep your voices down next time. <laughs> Shit, it's you! You spent all that time thinking up a plan, but didn't spend the extra second making sure it went right. What? It's not like we did anything bad to you. You're the one who put yourself into that shitty situation. Is that all you have to say for taking advantage of those people? Then I'll stop trying to convince you and let my fists do the talking instead. Shit. Well, whatever. I'll end this little encounter by helping myself to all the cash you've got on you. Alright, so we lose this fight, we lose a million yen. We'll see about that. I doubt we lose all of our money. I, I Not only that, I doubt we even lose the fight. I'm pretty sure we can beat him up without much of a, a to-do, you know? You should totally get up, dude. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna fucking bounce you off the wall. The Bob Sanchi sign. Taking Fumiyoshi down. Ugh. Who the hell is this guy? He can't be human. I'm so sorry. We won't scam anyone ever again. So please, just let us go. If you want to apologize, then go back to that hotel room and give Aoi her money back. Yes, of course. What assholes, man. We got 10,000 experience points. Yo, that is like quite a bit of cash. And I saw a locker key in the corner over here. So we got ourselves locker key number 12. Beautiful. So let's see what our upgrades can give us here. Once again, let's see. We get the tortoise spirit. We can increase our heat gauge here. A counterattack. Increase the power of throws, but get more health here. And then extra heat attack one. That one's pretty good, but I think I want to increase the power of throws and get some more health. That would never be a bad thing. So we'll level up our body to level 6. And then we'll worry about these next two things here. We've got heat gauge and the extra heat attack one. So we'll wait until we level up a little more, obviously, before we do those. And uh, we'll be right over here at the Shellac to view the proof. So honestly, all in all, pretty pretty um, optimized uh, routing here, if I do say so myself. So. Let's make sure we go to the right bar. The Shellock is over here, I believe. As I remember correctly. Let's go view those proofs. As long as he's here. Kiryu-san? Yeah, that's me. Someone named Yanai wanted me to give you this. Ah! It's next week's issue. The one Yanai mentioned. He said the article would be about how I tore their family apart. Hmm. The photo that reunited a family. You got me, and I. So, anything good in there? Yeah. Worth reading, all right. Aw, oh, that was good. That was really, really good. I uh, I appreciate that a lot. Um, all right, should we drink since we're here? Because we're going to need to complete this anyways. We did drink... Holy crap, the McCollin. Yo, let's let's drink that. That's, that's going to fuck us up pretty good, but we're going to heal and get some experience, so... Can't be too upset. It goes without saying that the Macallan Premium Malt is the champion of single malt, malt whiskeys. This 52-year-old whiskey made in 1946 wasn't put on the market until the new millennium in 1999. The sherry and wood bouquet 
are uh, that are a distinctive part of the McCollin whiskeys are more subdued, enabling its Islay malt flavor to shine through, or Islay maybe I don't know. They say this was the result of a coal shortage right after World War II, when more peat was used in the malting process. This is spicy stuff and extremely rare. However, you can almost taste the history behind it. Yeah, give me that experience. A thousand experience points for that. Freshen up your drinks, sir. Uh, yes. Let's do this Yamazaki because we want to complete the bars as soon as possible. Yamazaki 25 years as a single malt whiskey created in 99 to commemorate Suntory's 100 year anniversary. Its long aging process in sherry wood barrels produces a perfect balance of sweet and bitter. A mouthful of this divine whiskey is pure bliss. The price puts it just within reach as far as dream whiskeys go. I enjoy drinking it on special occasions. Look at that, we got experience again, man. We, we take those, we take those, right? Looks like we've already drank it enough. So I'll take those two drinks. And uh, we finished that sub story with the Harada family. So honestly, that turned out pretty darn good as far as stories could go. We didn't get any experience for it, but I think that was just some nice flavor. And uh, how could we be upset with that? You know, flavor is good. Flavor is what makes the world go round. Now, looks like uh, Mr. Try and Catch Me isn't here. Let's uh, go see what this sub story is all about over here. Damn it. Some guy just ran out on his bill. What happened? He just fucking left. That stupid Dine and Dasher just... Oh, he's right there. Oh, we can catch him easy. Catch that Dine and Dasher! He ordered 15 plates of Grade A Colby and he damn well... He's damn well gonna pay for it. A Dine and Dasher, eh? Let's chase him. Alright. I just need to catch him, right? You'll do it? Thanks! I knew you'd help me. I want you to drag that criminal back here by the neck if you have to. Alright, it's time for a running match. I imagine- wait, what the hell? That was weird. Alright, let's go catch this dude. Uh, he shouldn't be too hard, right? He's got a belly full of grade A Colby. So we should be able to catch- oh shit, god damn it. God damn it! There's no way we're gonna catch him now. Uh, wait, where did he go? You gotta be kidding me, man. Of course we're gonna miss him. We are running out of stamina like crazy. Alright, let's get up and get up and close and personal here. Oh, I just missed him there. Dude, we're gonna run out of stamina for sure. Oh my god! This guy is actually pretty crafty. No! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! They spawned a guy right in front of me! We're definitely going to mess up now. Oh man, we had him too. Fuck. We're definitely going to do another crack at him. I can't believe we couldn't catch him. That was actually quite a populated area. How can somebody <laughs> be that fast? I guess I'll have to head back to the Yakiniku place. Damn, man. He got away? Well, don't worry about it. Thanks for trying. Next time he comes, I'll make sure he pays. I am kind of upset about that, because uh, we should... Alright, there we go. We'll, we'll, we'll do it this time. I... <sighs> There's so many people. Alright, we'll chase them again and, and see what we can do. Uh, we were like one hit away, right? We lost a lot of time in the beginning as well, so... I'm not surprised that we couldn't get an early whack on him. This area is way too populated for me to feel comfortable. Then we got stopped by like two people here. We should probably follow his pathing a little bit better. But uh, we're doing much better this time around. I just have to... Oh, fuck. I got a little bit greedy there. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Let's drag him back by his neck because now... I'm really pissed. He made me do this a second time. Well, let's see. Make this guy pay, right? Huh. Huh. Ugh, how'd you catch me? You're the Dine and Dasher, right? You're coming with me. Perfect. A, a good chase quest, you know? Fifteen plates of Grade A Colby. That'll be 40,500 yen. Wait, that's less than fucking uh, Rikia paid for his dinner. Now pay up! Man, okay, here. Huh? 
You had the cash all this time? Then why didn't you just pay? You mean, why did I dine and dash? Well, for the most part, I did it for the thrill. <laughs> He's like looking off into the sun. What? Get the hell out of here, and I better not see you in my shop ever again. I'm getting hungry from all this running. I've had enough meat today, so... Where else can I get away with this? I can't believe this guy. Thank you so much for catching him. You must be exhausted. Try drinking this. Ooh, a Stamina and Royale. That Dine and Dasher is notorious around here. Hope he doesn't hit any other shops. I'll take the 2,000 experience points for that. But it looks like we're probably going to have to run into him a second time. Or maybe even a third time. Who knows? Oh yeah, so this is the tattoo stuff here. We're definitely going to take Rikia there as well at some point. Well, looks like we're having some combat here, but I was actually just starting to wind things down a little bit. But yeah, we'll definitely take Rikia to the tattoo shop eventually. I'm going to do some more Kamurocho exploring in the next episode, um, but until then, I'll, uh, you know, do my combat. But like I said, we're winding things down, so thank you so much for watching my Let's Play of Yakuza 3 Remastered. My name's DuffKing56. I'll see you guys later. Have a good night, peace out, and bye bye